So I'm gonna carefully just cut out the middle into like a rectangle pattern out of one of these small personal size sub loaves of bread. Kind of dig out some of that middle just to get a nice hole in there to fill up with the perfect ingredients for a pizza meatball sub. Okay, so now that I have a nice, perfect little hollow rectangle, I'm just gonna make three of these because I don't really have many people to eat all of this food. So I'm gonna take just some jarred pizza sauce, go ahead and coat the bottom of these rolls with that. And then what I'm gonna do is take some pepperoni. I like to use turkey pepperoni just because it's a little bit healthier. Just put in, I mean, you know, as many pieces as fit right in the bottom there. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and flip these around just so you can see a little bit easier. So I'm going to take a little bit of Parmesan cheese and just fill a little bit of a sprinkle of that right up on the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some um, just some diced up cherry peppers, which just give it a little bit of spice, a little bit of tang, and a little bit more flavor than just the plain uh, ingredients, which I think really adds something to this. Now next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some pre-made, I'm not going to lie, frozen meatballs that I've already pre-cooked, and I'm going to line those right in there. Three seems to fit pretty well. So I'm gonna stuff those in there. And then I'm gonna move on and just use some melted butter, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and go ahead and take a basting brush and I'm gonna make sure to get the buns on the outside of my subs completely coated in this yummy garlic Italian butter. Yum. Now after I have everything basted, I'm gonna set my oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to cook these subs once I get done with them for about 15 to 20 minutes, just to get everything toasted and melted. I'm gonna add a little bit more pizza sauce on the top here and then like I just showed you, some of the uh, shredded mozzarella cheese, but I'm gonna wait until after I add the pizza sauce because I want all that to soak right in there. So I'm going to mozzarella cheese it now. And then I personally like to just put some pepperoni on the top before I bake everything. But you can skip that step. You definitely don't have to do that if you don't want to. And like I said, 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes just on a nice baking sheet on top of foil. Make sure to check it so everything isn't burning. You would just want that cheese to be melted and that bread to get toasty and you are done. So, look at how yummy this looks. I can't wait to try it. All I'm gonna do here is just cut this in half just to make it a little bit easier to eat. And look at how amazing that this looks. I don't really want to burn my mouth here, so I'm gonna kind of tread lightly as far as taking a bite. Hmm.